Here we go. Here so we go. Live, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Hey, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna see if people are coming into the chat. Yes, it looks like it. People are joining in. Time for another Cybergate build. Hi. Hello, Hello everyone. So we're curious for some audio feedback in the beginning of the stream. We have a new audio setup for today. Uh, hello, Francesco. Um, good morning from North Carolina. Good morning, everyone. Yes. Nice are joining in from everywhere. Yes, more build. Welcome. <laughs> so before starting to build, um, I'm going to let everyone come into the stream just can you just give us some audio feedback? Because we've been, uh, uh, we have a completely new audio setup for today. Um, so with the Hannes 2000. <laughs> yes. Hello, I'm back at it. And today, Hannes 2000 has received software updates, <laughs> which means that I'm now in total control of all the cameras you see right here. So I can change to the most important angle <laughs> at any time. Why let me? <laughs> okay, people say that sounds lovely, sounds pretty good, sounds good in Israel. Nice to see you here. Audio sounds great. Okay, that's that's awesome. If you're listening in headphones, you will have a little stereo effect. And so, okay. So let's introduce people to what we're doing here, right? Yes. So we're assembling this cyber gate, as you can see on the render right here. And if we change to the close cam, we can see that we are actually pretty good on our way. Should probably go over to autofocus on this camera. No, it is on autofocus. Okay. And um, so yesterday we started with the um, sound muting, uh, heat shrink and silicon tubes. And if we look at the list in the top right corner of the screen, you can see that we are on step four. And today, I think we're going to come, if all goes well in this stream, I think we're going to come to the most cool things with the gates themselves, the little Pac-Man gates and with the flowers. If you remember how they look, we can look at the renders again, actually. Um, so all these moving gears there. Um, I hope we will try this today. So um, that's going to be super exciting because that will tell us if this kind of intricate design actually works. So I'm nervous about that, but also super excited. I'm gonna get right into building and hope I can get a lot today. So welcome everyone to another build stream. And thanks Hannes2000 for being here with me. Of course. And if you have any questions, you can just ask them and I will try to get them live here. For both in the YouTube chat and as well on Discord in the live stream chat shortly. So just post your questions there. I will try to sort them out. So oh this is I have different size heat shrink and I just realized that I needed to use the larger one. So this is super hard to film actually because you can't see the forest for all the trees kind of. There's metal parts everywhere. Um, oh, but I realized I could use the vise and then I can get a better close up in the close cam so we can actually follow the progress. What do you think of this, Hannes? 2000. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now we're talking epic close up here. There, kind of. So, so next thing I have to do, I can actually show with a marble. Um, so if you listen here, that's the sound with the heat shrink with metal. So that's the nice difference. So I'm just gonna fill all these up, and then we're gonna fill these up. How are you today, Hannes Two Thousand? I'm so great. My batteries are fully recharged. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty hyped about this live stream today. 
we're starting to make a lot of progress. Do you mean in, on the, in the live streaming department yeah, or, both. In, or in the building? <laughs> Mainly in the building. Of course, in the live stream as well. So they would took some time and hopefully fix the audio so it's more comfortable for you guys out there. And we have a first question here from Marcos Perez Ferro. How do you make those 3D animations? LOL. And that's a huge shout out to the render team over on Discord, right? Yeah. And especially for this one to, to the username Jeepster. But um, uh, there's a lot of cool renders. So if you go to Discord and check out the rendering channel, uh, I don't know how they're making these. They are awesome. So it's built on the CAD model by the CAD team. Uh, and then I think it's like, I think it's made in Blender, most of them. Yeah. So there's a good team of like modelers and animators and then render forms. So there's a lot of people working together on these awesome renders. And Burak Sen is asking me here, Cyberhunters, did you feel how did you feel about your feet when Martin took them and used on the jig? And I'm always glad to help. So of course you can borrow a leg or two from me if he needs it. No worries. He puts them back as you can see. I'm fully formed today. I'm not sure they hear you so well while I have the heat gun on. My voice burst through anything. <laughs> oh, burn. First finger burn of the day. So it's hard to see in the camera, but I'm trying to get the inner radiuses. If I maybe open up like that. No, you can't really see. I'm working on the inner radiuses. That looks good. One down, one, two, three, four, five to go. I think I think while I'm using the heat gun, I guess they won't hear you because the mics are in between us. Oh, the AC went completely off. So perhaps we should explain quickly just <laughs> for those curious what this cyber gate actually does. It's to be able to play the bass on the Marble Machine X, right? <laughs> That's super good. Captain Context approves. Super good, con <laughs> super good context from Johannes 2000. This part I'm building will lead to the next marble test with 60,000 marbles. Um, and then we will play hi-hat machine, hi-hat, snare drum, and, and bass guitar. Or cyber bass, if you want to be fancy. And yeah, you do your heating. I have to pull it while to get the inner radius correct. Uh, no, that's good. The heat gun doesn't go into the correct gear. That's why I'm shaking it. There, it's geared down. Oh yeah, nail this one.
Oh, people are saying that you can clearly hear me even with the heat gun on, so I, I never need to shut up now. Okay, that's actually nice. I can actually move the mics over, maybe for this section. <laughs> hear us clearly, and the heat gun sounds nice. Okay, lovely. I'm actually going to redirect their direct the microphones a little bit away from the heat gun, a little bit towards Hannes 2000. But Matrix 231 is asking for more cowbell, so is that something you can fix, Martin? <laughs> Unfortunately. And for those, there's already people wondering why there's a floating head here in your studio. <laughs> and my name is Hannes, and I'm I'm helping Martin editing the videos here on you on the Vintagot on YouTube channel. So Martin asked me to join him here to keep him company during these live streams. Hold his hands. And he actually attached my hands today as well. So now I can physically hold them as well. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Flaming Ninja. Hannes needs a remote controlled cowbell. Now we're talking. Hannes is a long-term partner. We did an original Marble Machine video together. It was the first video we did. Since it had 170 million views, we thought maybe we'd do some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm really going to try to get an angle on this next heat shrink so you can see what I'm trying to do. Now there you can actually see it. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Let's try that. So which angle do you like most, Hannes? The big one or this one for this? You you know which one I like the most. But for this specific one, it's the close up, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. We also have you in the in the left right corner. Right corner. See if you can hear the pitch change. There. <laughs> yeah. Next gear. And we have our first new member here today. Imanod, welcome. Welcome, Imanod. Thank you. And straight from the Discord live stream chat, we have Palto Yikale reminding you, I think Martin needs some aluminium foil to direct heat from heat gun on singular heat shrink. That's a really good idea, Palto Yikale. And um, I, did, I checked in my kitchen drawers. I don't have any aluminium foil at home. Balto Ikale was one of the heroes with a revolver divide by four. Um, so if you remember the divide by four video.